Now, Religion in the News, a report and comment on religious trends and events being covered by the media. This week's item is from the Associated Press, March 9th, 2007, with the headline, Bibles in Public Schools? Georgia is poised to introduce two literature classes on the Bible in public schools next year, a move analysts say would make the state the first to take an explicit stance endorsing and funding biblical teachings. The Bible already is incorporated into some classes in Georgia and other states, but some critics say the board's move, which makes the Bible the class's main text, treads into dangerous turf. On a list of classes approved Thursday by the Georgia Board of Education are literature and history of the Old Testament era and literature and history of the New Testament era. The classes approved last year by the legislature will not be required and the state's 180 school systems can decide for themselves whether to offer them. Senate Majority Leader Tommy Williams, the Republican who sponsored the plan, said the Bible plays a major role in history and is important in understanding many classic literary works. It's not just the good book, Williams said. It's a good book. The bill approved overwhelmingly in the legislature was tailored to make it clear the courses would not stray into religious teaching, Williams said. The measure calls for the courses to be taught in an objective and non-devotional manner with no attempt made to indoctrinate students. During last year's campaign period legislative session, Democrats surprised majority Republicans by introducing a plan to teach the Bible in public schools. Republicans who control both chambers quickly responded with their own version, which passed and was signed into law by Governor Sonny Perdue. Dave, our program's called Search the Scriptures Daily. So um, from that perspective, what do you think? Is this something good or what? <laughs> Tom, I, I don't know. Uh, what are they going to do with the sun standing still and... What are they going to do with the creation and the miracles in the Old Testament? I mean, uh, and what about uh, Christ rising from the dead in the new? And the, see, you can't, you just can't treat the Bible like a literature book. Uh, the Bible is a history book. It's, the history is accurate. But Tom, I don't think the Bible is supposed to be picked apart. And we'll take this part of it. You know, it's not like a cafeteria. Well, I, I like that. And uh, well, we can't teach this in public school because it's uh, getting into the miraculous, and and that, that's that's a no-no because you can't have miraculous without God. So, Tom, I think it would be such a watered-down version of the Bible. Uh, that um, it would be maybe even worse than no Bible because it would give students a wrong idea that this is what the Bible is. Dave, you know, my daughter uh, works with, with young people. She's a college student, and she works with young people in the schools of uh, Eugene, Oregon, uh, as part of, uh, you know, campaigners. Um, so she's got a group of young people, and they're totally clueless. They have no idea about anything. In other words, they are – talk about being biblically illiterate. <laughs> I don't even know they'd, they'd rise to that level. So don't you think that it, there might be some value in at least getting a sense of, uh, of what the Bible says, of some of the individuals involved or what? Well, Tom, um, look, I'm not the expert and I don't know how – what is this, a semester course? Yeah. Um, pretty tough to go through – the Old Testament or the New Testament in a semester. You're going to have to zip, zip, zip. Now, if these students will read on their own, they might get some good ideas. Or if it awakens their interest in reading the Bible on their own, uh, that would be good. On the other hand, Tom, uh, my experience from going way back to my college days is that the religion department, now, of course, this is supposedly not religion, but no, they're but the they, worst. But Dave, they do have in high schools. My son has taken a religion course in high school, yeah. 
And I don't even want to get into that. Well, you want to talk about a mess. Yeah. Uh, even when they had so-called experts in a particular religions, uh, completely off the wall. So, and I'm not talking, I'm talking about the way they presented what they were supposedly believed. My son's pretty, he's pretty sharp in these areas. And he said, dad, it was just outrageous what these people were claiming, uh, whether they be uh, speaking on the behalf of Islam or or whatever it might be. So Tom, I think they're going to get a wrong perspective of the Bible. And only if they uh, studied on their own. Is it going to be worthwhile at all? Now, that's my opinion. And, and of course, again, it depends upon the teacher. Mm-hmm. If we have a good Christian teacher, they may be able to do a good job even within the restrictions. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that would be beneficial. On the other hand, are we saying that the Bible is just another piece of literature? Well, you know, like the fables of Aesop the Slave or you know, the the writings of uh, Tacitus or who, whoever, you know, mm-hmm. uh, then we're, we're getting a wrong perspective. The Bible has been dragged down on the level of literature, and that is not what it is. Dave, we have these guys within the emerging church talking about uh, the Bible is poetry. And, you know, don't take, let's not take, the prophets, they were really poets, right? Well, this is what the... Uh, spiritual formation. The re- this is what the Renovare spiritual formation Bible says. This is what the so-called Christian scholars who right. the, give the, the commentary say. And these are say. professing evangelicals. So right. if they're going to go that right. far south, right. wow. I'm, I'm sure that the legislative body that voted for this, uh, this is the Bible Belt. They probably thought they were doing something really good. You know, it's kind of like prayer in the public schools. Well, we ought to have prayer in the public schools. They used to have prayer in the public schools. Well, wait a minute, who's going to lead the prayer? Uh, what kind of prayer is it going to be? Who are you praying to? <laughs> and, and so forth. Uh, everybody who is a real Christian, they're talking to the Lord all the time anyway. They don't need permission. Uh, so, Tom, when it becomes an official uh, course of the, of the public school— uh, who's teaching it? From what perspective? Uh, supposing you have a Muslim teacher teaching the Bible as literature. Uh, well, then we want, why can't we teach the or Quran did, as literature? Well, what about just the hard nosed atheist that doesn't right. believe in, you know, he's a materialist, doesn't believe in miracles. I'd like to see him go through, I wouldn't like to see him go through that, by the way. But, Tom, it could raise more problems than it will solve, in my opinion, but then. I guess it's a done deal. For more information about the Berean Call, call us toll-free at our order number or visit our website, 